Okay, so this is going to be my second layout for Wild Whisper Designs. Um, using the Out and About collection, which has all my favorite colors of corals and greens and so pretty and blues. So this is Whipped Spackle. It is a medium by Faber Castell, and I love it. I love it. It's like it's like icing. It's so fabulous for creating texture on a page. So I'm just going to put it through this stencil, which is the Soda Fizz stencil from the Wild Whisper shop. And it's like, I don't know, it's so fabulous. I love it. And I love how um, the whipped spackle creates this wonderful texture on my cardstock. The cardstock I'm using is Basil Marshmallow cardstock, which I just got and I am loving it for a mixed medium. And you'll be seeing a couple more projects in the coming weeks with it. So my focus for this layout is going to be um, these two sheets of paper. I have this cute, adorable photo of my nephew um, that I just actually took this past weekend and I wanted to scrap it right away. So I am super excited because <laughs> I have a Canon PixMa and I usually don't print photos from home, but occasionally now and then one just needs to be printed and scrapbooked immediately like this one. Uh, so I'm going to use these two papers primarily in my layout and then I'm also going to pull in the wood veneer from the collection. I left a little white border around my photo and I'm going to go ahead and um, map. Now I'm being very careful about how I'm matting the photo because I want the polka dot but there's also some of the cut apart sheets on the back that I want to include on my layout. That big um, earth is going to become a awesome, awesome focal point on this layout as well as some of the other um, designs. And so I'm just looking at the designs and cutting apart the rest of this sheet so I can pick which ones I want to use. This little card is a card from the card pack and um, it's basically just going to be used as a place to hold my, um, my this wood veneer and that wood veneer is gonna be the title. So right now I'm gonna create some shaker pockets. So what I have here is a product by Queen and & Company, and these are called foam shakers. They come in all different shapes and all different sizes. This is a set of um, nested circle ones. Um, I also have butterflies and balloons and flowers, and they come in so many different shapes and sizes, and I really, really love them for creating shaker elements on scrapbook pages because they are dimensional enough that you can um, really go ahead and add your sequins, but they're not so dimensional that they um, really are a, you know, a big, thick, heavy element. In fact, they are less dimensional than, um, they're less dimensional than a flare. Uh, they're less, you know, they have less bulk than a flare. So I'm gonna go ahead by putting the foam over some of the patterns, including that big earth. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill the shaker with um, the exclusive sequins designed by Spiegel Mom Scraps that coordinate with this collection and they're beautiful. And then I'm just going to place the clear film over the top and I have a shaker element. And I'm going to go ahead as you can see and I'm going to create four of these. I think I created four, maybe five. And I'm going to do that big earth and I love how that earth turns out at the end. So there are my shaker pockets all done. And there is my cardstock with the uh, whipped spackle through it to create that lovely texture. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to decide where I wanna place my shaker elements. Um, I know that the first one I kind of really have to worry about is that earth because it is the biggest. But I was so determined that I was going to figure out how to get it on this layout because it was just, it was so adorable and cute. And I absolutely love it. Um, so here my son is handing me his homework. I have been doing all of his short answer writing for him because he still can't write with his broken arm. So I'm going to just take a break here and do that with him. And then I'll come back to my layout. Um, so now I'm just going to adhere everything down. I'm going to put pop my photo up with some fun foam. Since all the shakers have a little bit of dimension, I want to kind of make sure that my photo doesn't get lost in the mix. I'm going to go ahead and tuck the shaker. See, the shakers, these shakers are even, you know, they are less bulky. They are even less bulky than um, the Fun Foam because I could fit that earth shaker underneath 
the foam, fun foam where my layout was. So I'm adhering all this down with um, Scotch Tacky Glue uh, just because there's that pattern and this was the first time I had used this marshmallow cardstock so I wasn't 100% sure if it would stick real well with my um, tape runner or not. And so I'm going to fit the wood, that large wood veneer right into that circle and use that as my title. So now I'm going to reach over and grab all of my circle punches because I want some more pattern on this page and I want um, just a little more circles to be kind of interacting at different levels with the shaker pockets. This layout is all about the circles, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> so I punched a whole bunch of circles. I'm going to add a little bit of extra adhesive to this foam. Um, the foam was kind of not wanting to, the fun foam that I put under the photo was like not wanting to stick. Um, and I'm not sure what, um, in fact, even, you know, after I did this layout a couple hours later, I still had to add more glue to it, but I think we finally got it down. Um, so now I'm just going ahead and adhering all of these circles to all the little places that I think that they should be. I'm trying to find just little spots, little gaps. I don't want big swashes of white on this layout. I kind of want, I want the white, but I also want some of the color and I want your eye to be able to travel down through the picture in a diagonal direction. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these things and then um, <laughs> make sure everything's glued down uh, first. And then I'm just going to look and pop a couple more circles in different spots where I feel like it, it needs that little pop of the darker color. Pretty easy layout. Um, not uh, This was not time consuming and what really makes it nice is those uh, shaker pockets. You know, having them at all the different sizes and they were pretty easy to put together. So the last little thing I'm going to do to this layout is I'm going to add some more sequins for some sparkle. So I have these zots, which are minuscule. They're the tiny sized zots. And I'm just, they are fabulous for sequins. They're just the best for sequins. So I'm just going to sprinkle them around and see like there again, the, my shaker, the shaker wanted to like come up and there was lots of regluing involved involved in this layout before I finally um, figured out how to get everything to stick real good. Um, the glue dot stuck really, really well to this marshmallow cardstock. Um, and it seemed like my tape runner stuck really, really well to the cardstock too, but I'm not sure about that tacky glue. I just kept having to put like more on and more on and more on. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm looking at where the texture is and I'm looking for just larger gaps where a sequin will just fit and look perfect. And that's going to kind of complete this layout then. I'm just attaching some, attaching the sequins, um, making sure everything is stuck down really well, um, seeing if there's any more open spots that I think need just a little more um, color so that your eye can travel, make sure the shaker pockets can um, go, and as you can see, <laughs> adding more glue. <laughs> Lots of glue to keep everything stiff. And now I need to clean up because I just need to clean up, right? But that's going to pretty much complete this layout. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, fun um, little bit of mixed media and those fun shaker pockets. Here are some close-ups. Be sure to check out this fabulous collection over at the Wow Whisper website because it is just beautiful. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!